All right, so I want to share what I have experienced in the past six months migrating a Salesforce org into Zoho CRM or Zoho One. One of the big difference is roll up summary. So if you are a Salesforce professional, you know how handy and powerful roll up summary can be. Basically, Roll-up summary can be created in a master detail relationships, for example, between accounts and contacts, or if you create a custom object, having a master detail relationship um, to the contact record to, so, or anything between any object that have a master detail relationship, you can create a roll-up summary, right? So if you're not familiar with Salesforce, this is how we do it in Salesforce. You create a new custom field and then choose the type as roll up summary and go next. And I'm going to say um, total international giving this year, just for example, as a roll up summary. And then and this would be the total international giving uh, for the current year okay for example so I'm gonna hit next here and oh we have that already mm, so let me say last year okay so as you can see we use lots of roll-up summary in Salesforce, but now we have to move everything to Zoho. So how do we do that? Okay, next. So this is an example. We want to summarize the international giving for the contact objects. For example, the contact is Jimmy. And how much have I given last year internationally? Something like that. So we can count how many, how many giving I have done five times, 10 times, 20 times, one times, or zero times. We can count how many times. We can summarize the total amount. I've given a uh, hundred dollars, five hundred, ten thousand, three million dollars last year, whatever, right? Or the minimum amount, or the one was the, um, the first time would be, created that minimum or the last time, right? So it's pretty handy and powerful. And then you can all also add criteria, right? Uh, in this case, only records meeting a certain criteria should be included in this calculation, all right? So for example, I want the created date would be um, less than Right, and then you put the value last year, for example. Okay, so you can basically do that, and you hit next, and then you create the field. I'm not going to create this is this is a live org, so I'm not going to actually do that. But when you did that, um, it's going to automatically calculate everything and give you instant um, value for this field for all the records pretty much instantly. Pretty nice, right? So when you get used to this and you want to uh, recreate the same thing in Zoho, well, it's not that easy. It is doable, but they don't have the functionality to do that. So you will end up having to code roll up summaries. All right. So you have to code it. This is an example. I've already opened. So this is a roll up summary which I have to make or code. Um, we have a mail batch total, basically a letter coming for a particular day and we want to total up how much cash in it, how much check in it and so on. So basically um, I create this code and then I uh, receive a parameter 
which is the sales order ID, right? And then I do a, um, not a soccer, uh, a Zocco, <laughs> a Zoho CRM, a Choco, right? C-O-Q-L. So I, I, I do a select query. I select what? What do I want to select? The grand total is the field and then the payment method from sales order where the mail batch is the mail batch ID, which I first query from here. Mail batch ID is sales order record, get the mail batch ID, right? And then this is the sales order, which is going to be passed to this function from a workflow. So it's a pretty complex process just to create one um, roll-up summary. And then I do that and then I loop through the code, right? I initiate total cash zero, total check zero, total check count zero, and then you do you do the magic here. Well, it's not magic, you have to code it. So just creating one uh, simple roll-up summary can take quite like 15 minutes if you're really a developer, right? Just to create this and then you have to link this to the workflow rule. Basically, every single time a sales order is created, run this function. Every single time a, a sales order is modified or edited as well, run this function. So we can recalculate everything. Now, that's not all of it that I want to share the pain with you. The pain, pain. <laughs> the pain is once you've created this, you have to touch every single record. So for example, you just created a um, roll-up summary, right? Like you did in Salesforce and you hit done and it's gonna recalculate and populate all the values instantaneously for you. Well, not with Zoho. Once you're done developing and you test it with one record, right? Oh, it works. Beautiful, it works. But now what? You just created one new um, roll-up summary calculation and then you put it on a field like total cash is a, basically a, a currency field, just a field, right? A normal currency field. And then you have to what? You have to um, touch every single sales order there is. Say you have 300,000 for this year, 300,000 records that is. Then you have to do the mass updating, right? You have, you have to go to the sales order and uh, purposefully touch every single record to trigger this function. Otherwise, this will not trigger. You just created a function, but it will not populate the value, the calculation retroactively to the, to the records. It will not do that for you. So it's a lot of work just to create one roll up summary and with our organization we have hundreds of those hundreds hundreds <laughs> so you can imagine what kind of work is involved right well zoho has it, its ups as well but when you're migrating and roll up summaries and hundreds of them it can be a pain, especially when you're done developing one, you have to touch every single thing and you have to do this so many times and you it's just a lot of time just to develop. So with Salesforce, you just click, 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 click and you're done, boom, bada bing, bada boom, right? So with that said, as a comparison, I would say if um, Salesforce is a smartphone, for example, I like the new Google Pixel 7. Do you like that? I just got one for my son, Joshua. So Google Pixel 7, right? You tap to call. You just tap, right? Um, uh, on a smartphone, like contact list um, on a phone. There. This is how you call. You tap the person and it's gonna call. Like Salesforce, right? You tap, you create the um, roll up summary. It's done. Like bada bing, bada boom. It's gonna call the person. Just tap on it. But with Zoho, it's more like a, 
rotary phone, you know? Well, you want to dial something? Hmm? You know how to dial a rotary phone? Let's YouTube it. <laughs> if I do dialing a rotary phone, I'm just having fun with this, okay, guys? Okay, this is how you dial a rotary phone. Can we have a quick one here? I like to speed things up, you know, when you're watching video. Please do that. See? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is to dial and call one person. See? <laughs> Perfect example, right? And then you do that. And then, hello? Who are you? <laughs> Anyways, that's um, what I want to share. If you're considering migrating to Zoho from Salesforce, you have to do this. There is no work around. You just have to do this, my friend. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom